Welcome back. It's time for our parent to parent segment. Extensive research has shown that students achieve more in school when their parents are involved in their education. Surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. And middle and high school is a time when our kids want more independence. They start taking on more responsibility, but they still need us. So here now with more on the importance of staying engaged in our child's education throughout from Potential Magazine. We have publisher Pam Mashburn and also the president of the Montgomery PTA Council's Paula Lyman here with us. Paula and Pam, Paula, thank you so yeah, much the PT for being today. here. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound that good, does it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll take that back. Okay. But let, let's talk more about this. Yes. This is this is across the board, scientifically proven research shows right. parents just tend to fall off as their kids get older. Why is that? Well, I think, you know, part of it is that we do want them to become more independent. Like I shouldn't have to look at, you know, what, what your homework log says. I mean, you should be taking that on. Right. But with that becomes this um, teenage thing to say, oh, I don't really want my parents there. I don't want them to know this much about my life. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is the time parents when we, and I'm guilty of it too, that Me we too. need to make sure we're staying engaged. Stay but just in a different way. Mm -hmm. and, and being okay. over PTA, this is what you do. This is what you talk to people about. We do. We, we try to keep those parents engaged not only through elementary school, but into middle school and high school because we don't want our kids to get lost. And they, I know they have friends, they have peer pressure, they have all kinds of things going on when they get to middle school and high school. So we want those parents to stay engaged with them and communicate not only with their student, but also with the administration and their parents and the teachers. So well, we tend yeah. to uh, be reactive. You know, yes. when, when the kids are little, they want us around. They, they need we us. We want to be the real mother yes. and take yes. the goodies. That's yes. easy. That helicopter parenting mm -hmm. is, is big time during them. We're mm -hmm. hovering over right. them and making sure they're getting their work done. But we're we are, I think, subconsciously even sometimes trying to prepare them to uh, leave and go off to school. Mm -hmm. So we kind of back, back off, off a little bit, exactly. but we don't want that to be too much. We don't want to back off too right. much. No, no. You know, and Paula and I were talking, she kind of gave us four tips that we thought would okay. be helpful for parents. Well, let's dive right yeah, into let's that. Do that. Academically, how, what do we need to do? We want to make sure that our parents stay in communication with our teachers mm -hmm. because there have been so many times that homework's not done and your parents might. Teachers will send an email home and say, parent, you're, Johnny is not doing their homework. You'll never get that email because maybe, you know, not, you don't read it or you kind of just don't look at it. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure parents stay engaged but with those teachers, know what's going on in the day-to-day -day school life of yeah, your don't, child. Don't right. wait until the report card comes home exactly. and you, you go, what happened? It's too late uh, then. Where, yeah, you could have uh, prevented that, maybe. Uh, manage things at home a little bit, maybe taking some of the screen time or the phone, the phone away and, well, and, and have you know, them concentrate have, a little bit. Yeah, well, and when teachers have 120 kids, because they've got all these different blocks, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I think they really appreciate the parent that just does the quick email and says, everything going okay. okay. Just there check you go. in. You know? yeah. Yeah. Just checking in. Yeah, okay. So let's talk about physically what can we do to help. We want to make sure that they're overall, overall prepared. Not only having breakfast in the morning because we know how important food is having, yes. and kids, I hate to say them don't want to get up that early in the morning. We know mm -hmm. they're teenagers and uh -huh. they don't want to eat. Right. But because Montgomery Public Schools have, now has free breakfast and lunch, there's no excuse why a child cannot go and have breakfast with their with their friends before yeah. school. Yeah. And also make sure that they're also engaged as far as with, with their friends and substance abuse because we know peer pressure, there's drugs out there, there's alcohol out there, there's tobacco out there. Yes. So we want to make sure that we inform our, our child, a daughter or a son, of those things that are out there and kind of keep engaged with them so they don't get in the wrong peer pressure or wrong groups with those friends. Yeah. Well, and the great thing about PTA is I have a, a band of mothers and we call each other when our kids are doing knuckleheaded things or mm -hmm. hanging out with the wrong mm -hmm. kids or whatever. And so. Um, I think that's one great way that the PTA can be a great support system to say, hey, did you know that they're doing this field trip or they've mm -hmm. got this thing going on? Mm -hmm. Or you don't feel alone. If something's yes. going on, they might say, oh, you know, I've had that happen too and here's what worked for me. Mm -hmm. we got to get through these real oh, yeah. quick Is mentally. It? we got to make sure we stay positive, right? Stay positive. Don't always be negative to your child. Stay po ask them what's going on. What's going on in your life? How are your friends doing? How are you doing in school? And, and encourage them when and, they do something always, great. That's good Always too. encourage. And uh, relationally. How do we help them? Just with communicate. That? Yeah. Just communication. That's all there is boiled down. To communicate with your with your child. Communicate with the school. Just communicate with with. It. 
have the communication line, being open and honest. And have those relationships set up. I think boundaries are good too. A lot of parents, as they get older, it's more about being their friend and yes. sometimes they need you to be more adult. of a parent. Yes. Yes. And, and even be the yes. advocate at yes. school. Yes. You know, if they're having some issues with a teacher, to try to help them work through that. Right. You have to kind of get to know what's going on with the teacher. Yes. And the, and you might, maybe you're the mediator. And yes. this helps them develop some good relationship exactly. skills for their job market and, and later on later in their careers. Life. Sounds good mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. Potential Magazine, look for this wherever teens and their uh, parents go or check them out online at potentialmagazine.com. There you Thanks, go. Tanya. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's so good to see Thank you. Good to, good to see you. you. Yeah.